Diddy. That's right. And so, just for those of you who don't know, Noku used to play Diddy. Yes. Way back in the day. And uh, he tried him in this game during quarantine. I mean, yeah, and even his, his Diddy is also pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, but the, the thing is, he knows the character, which means he's... And the fact he doesn't play him anymore means he probably knows his weaknesses, too. Oh, yeah. I don't know the set count between these two. I know they've played a little bit, but I don't know the set count necessarily. I, this feels kind of like an even match, to be honest. So uh, I think we're in for a good one right now. And yeah, I know that Noku in general has been feeling less confident since the uh, you know post-pandemic. He said uh, he was feeling a little. He said he was feeling a little confident today. He said he was in like a singles mood. So all right. So we'll see how it ends up planning out for him because. Uh, Ooh, at the moment, he's already taken 115%, but we know the kind of things he can do with Ivysaur and... And Charizard. Yeah, and Charizard. Well, Ivysaur is what we're looking at right now. Oh, Ivysaur is what we're getting right now. Cheeky up there from Noku. We're going to take that first stock. And uh, I like I like the play to just stand Zard right now. Yeah, I actually find it curious that he swapped to Zard uh, for the low percent here. I, I agree with it because, like, Char Zard is the fastest of the three. And he's like, you know, obviously the heaviest and like, I wouldn't say his hitboxes are like bigger than Ivy's, because like Ivy's is more of like a disjoint. Ooh. I but will say his his hitboxes feel more threatening. Yes. <laughs> it's like Ivy's definitely also are very threatening, but it's like Charizard, you get hit by F tilt and you take all of this damage, you get knocked so far off stage. Oh, yeah. You get hit by forward air and it's just like a meaty. I don't even know how much percent that move it, does. It's like, Zar like Zard's defensive game, defensive game is like one of the best defensive games in the game. So it's like staying Zard at that percent is like such a good player right there. But um, Nick has quite the lead right now. A little lacking a little bit. Ooh, neutral air's into. I, mean, I think maybe he was hoping that the hitbox from neutral air would actually destroy the banana. I don't know. That didn't. That what? Hold on. He F tilted and then didn't get it, and then did the same F tilt and then got it. Uh, it hurt box shifted him so that he was closer Ooh. for the next one. I have no idea. Ooh, that was really smart. Do you remember how last time he was threatening, you know, like with Ivy Sword Neutral Air, and he would basically condition Nelvin into those high recoveries, and that time around Noku was 100% ready to punish, and that puts him with a stock lead here. This is going to be Nelvin's last stock of game one. He's he on needs Ivy to make it work. right now, so I guess he kind of just, like, didn't like the play of uh, going to Zard right there. I guess. Oh, oh. I was just about to say... Ivysaur is definitely a lot better at edge guarding Diddy Kong. At edge guarding Diddy Kong than Charizard is, just because you know your hitboxes are so lingering and so big, and then you have that that down air. Not only the you have the neutral air. The fact that it lower percents, it does so little knockback. Because I believe the way it works is that if Diddy doesn't take like a certain amount of knockback after he gets hit out of the barrels, that's it. He doesn't get his barrels back, really. right? Uh, it it's like. Wait, say that again? So if he receives only, like, a tiny amount of knockback, then he does not get his barrels back. He's not allowed to up B again. I don't know about that. I think that's what we just saw, because Noku did a rising neutral air specifically so he would fall out of it, and you saw he lost his barrels and was not able to up B again. The, the thing is, though, is, like, did he, did he, you know, did he out of hitstone with his barrels, he'll take double, he'll basically take double the, uh, double the amount of knockback. Or maybe that would... And maybe the amount of hit stuns. So, like, sure, when you do a low knockback move, you won't go that far. But the hit stun is also double. So that could maybe be why? Anyways. I think it's just like a mechanic with the character where, like, he needs to be put into tumble in order to get his barrels back. You know Diddy, have, Diddy has um, a certain amount of, like, heavy armor when he's charging his barrels? Which is, like, it's very minimal. But it's it's kind of like it's kind of like you know Bowser heavy armor where he just kind of like doesn't take doesn't take knockback against jabs. Did okay. he have that for barrels? Huh. But only when he's charging. Anyways. Okay, now Nothing we're finally seeing the Zard, and this time around it's kind of similar to what we saw in game one. A nice big ne lead for Nelvin, but unlike game one, Nelvin takes the first stop. Yeah, with a nice comfortable 70% to boot, you know, he's not really in, like, any threatening kill percent for, like, Charizard, but Ivy. <gasps> but Ooh. Ivy! But Ivy! But Ivy. But Ivy Dare. That was, that was Ivy Dare out of disadvantage, too. 
That was a great reversal. That was a great reversal. All right, we're having the point now. Nice, solid neutral from both of these <laughs> players. I will say that once, it's so cute when Turk. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, but Squirtle with the, uh, with the banana, or like in general, Noku with the banana, he knows how to use it. He played Diddy for so long. So it's not going to be one of those things where it's like, I have banana, and I guess I can try to throw it. No, he's gonna he's definitely going to be able to use it like a valuable resource for him. Noku's finally, finally starting to find his footing here, but lets his advantage slip away, and now he's taking a little more percent. He's on the ledge. Uh-oh. I think, yeah, we're about to see a switch to Charizard. I yeah. definitely agree with that. Even though he is at the ledge, Ivysaur is not necessarily that great at getting off the ledge either, and the survivability is going to be key. Oh. I, that back air was very, very iffy. I am, uh... wonder if it was actually a misinput. Ooh, could be. Ooh. That's a very, like, scrappy combo. Because, like, it wasn't necessarily true, but... Yeah. Nothing has a whole stock right now. And Diddy's one of those characters that just... Vortex... Vortexes so easily. Ooh, I like the idea of going for up, throw, uh, up air there, just trying to get as much damage as possible. And a beautiful fade back from Nelvin, recognizing the amount of range that that Squirtle up B has and how easily it can turn your edge guard into a reversal situation. Oh, yeah. The waterfall has such a huge hip on It's so disgusting. Another swap to Zard. Oh, you just wanted to get back to Ivy. Uh, well, Squirtle, my bad. Honestly, that seemed like more of a he wanted the invincibility type of thing. Ooh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. It was a bait. Uh, yeah. Now he's not on ledge. Now he's on ledge. Never mind. Oh. Oh. oh my yeah. God. <laughs> he actually crossed him oh up with that ledge attack. If he, if Nelvin did not air dodge there, he had a very high chance of dying there. That was a very risky situation right there. He put himself in. Are we still seeing Squirtle? Yeah, no. Squirtle out of 100 is very iffy. Yeah, I, 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 as Ivy Sword, it's still scary. Do you think he would survive like down to a top smash at this percent? Yes. Okay. Banana grab into barrel combo. Oh, I like this combo right here. And he's still able to punish. No, oh. doesn't actually. Able to, he isn't able to convert off of that air dodge. And now Noku at 100%. He's managed to get like something this. on uh, like Nelvin. A but. Oh. oh, no way! What was he? He was at set. He was at like what? Eight, seven, he was at like sixty. Dude. No, he was not at sixty. He was at like late sixty. He was.